Well, we're really, we're really about to get into race because this is really our biggest subject that we're going to talk about now. We're going to talk about the Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman case because this is huge right now. This is huge. And there's so much to talk about with this case and there's so much outrage. I'll admit I'm outraged by the verdict. I think that is so unfortunate. So unfortunate. It, what really bothers me is that, uh, that nothing is going to be done, really. That someone ends up dead and then just another person is, what, inconvenienced by having to go to trial. And I hate hearing people say that Zimmerman is a victim, too. He's not a victim, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I've watched the case pretty closely, and I've heard the 911 tapes, and I've studied what went on. And for me, bottom line is there should be some punishment for this guy getting out of his car, following a 17-year-old when he's 29 years old, mm -mm. and killing him. Yep, the prosecution did not prove beyond reasonable doubt that George Zimmerman committed second-degree murder. And, and his, his, legal, his legal representation definitely knew what they were doing by not accepting that deal for manslaughter or a lesser charge. They wanted all or nothing. Second degree murder, guilty, or not. They wanted all or nothing. They, they knew what they were doing. Uh, I just can't believe that the prosecution couldn't prove it. I, I, I don't know how these jurors really believe that this was done in self-defense. Like, I just... Well, I was just watching an interview where the juror was on Anderson Cooper. And to me, it's, it was pretty disturbing, some of the things she said. Uh, she said that the, his, the girl that he was on the phone with when the last person he spoke to, I believe her name is Raquel or Rachel or something like that, and um, she didn't find her to be a credible witness because of her education and uh, not being able to communicate well. And that has nothing to do with that. Yeah, that has nothing to do with the truth. Your education and communicating has, doesn't have anything to do with the truth. Mm -hmm. And then she said, well, that's how they talk to each other. They. They. So, but I think that unless you've been racially profiled, you don't understand it. You don't understand it unless you've been in that situation. So all these people that say, oh, it's not race, race has nothing to do with it. If you live that life, then you would understand. Now, do you think that their jury selection was a good selection of people? Well, it's five white women and a Hispanic woman. Mm -hmm. Which is and ridiculous. He's Hispanic Which for is ridiculous. one. And then the other women are all white. Right. Where's the diversity? Where's the diversity here? Where? And they claim that they want jurors who aren't biased. But it's like, come on. You can still be biased and it just run undetected. Or you can just act. Mm -hmm. And why only six jurors? And why all white women, except for one? Yeah, and they're all women. And many lawyers and prosecutors went on television and said they never in their careers saw a jury, a criminal case with all women jurors. They've never seen that before. So, but now the, the civil case can be brought up, mm -hmm. which is a different standard. Um, it's uh, based on the pro preponderance pronounce that for me, it's more likely than not, basically. Is it more likely than not, which is a different standard than um, beyond a reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the standard is a lot lower. So the civil case can be a lot easier for them to win because the standard's a lot lower. So hopefully they will take that and uh And again, this is another win. situation where you know, I mean, I mean, who am I really to judge somebody? But, but this is another situation where if, if justice isn't found here on earth, it will be found later on. God will deal with everyone. And, and I just want to point out Trayvon's uh, parents, 
were not there uh, during the reading of the verdict. Uh, and I respect I that. Family, I, I wish their family that. well. And yeah. I pray for them. Yeah. We're going to be right back.